how to manifest your ex back when there's a third party. This is one of my favorite things to help my clients with because this is something that I had to do myself as well. You need to hear about this breakthrough that my client just had that is gonna help you getting rid of that third party as well. Her specific person broke up with her and she wanted him back and so she had been on this manifestation journey for three plus months she had been doing all of the things that she found in the online space like repeated affirmations and listen to sleep tapes at night and she started seeing movement in the wrong direction suddenly there was a third party in the picture that hadn't been there before and she was like what the hell she was spiraling and so inside my program we go through a process for uncovering how the third party showed up in the first place and through this process, she discovered that she had created the third party through her belief of always being second option. And through this releasing process, her subconscious mind, her own brain, showed her a memory in her childhood where her mom had given her younger sister more love and more attention than her, causing her to think that she was second best. I love breakthroughs like this so much because it makes the manifestation process a little bit more black and white because when we can identify the beliefs underneath that are playing out in our reality, we can understand why those things happen. In her case, it was the belief of not being the chosen one or always being second best that was showing up in all of her relationships and friendships. And this is not about my client just repeating affirmations like, I am chosen, I am always the first option but actually doing this deep inner work that works on a subconscious level to release that belief for good. Because repeating affirmations to yourself is not going to do the work. It's not going to release that belief underneath because those affirmations are not even going to go as deep as into the subconscious mind anyways. And so that would just be you lying to yourself or gaslighting yourself. And we're not doing that. This is about changing those beliefs and creating those new neural pathways where we feel so chosen. We feel so deeply loved and cared for that we don't even question it anymore. We know it to the core that we are always chosen. So that there's no other option left on the table anymore for that person not to show up in our reality for that person not to get rid of that third party.